welcome back. This is where we were in the last video and this is where we stop. Remember, I hope that you have finished your homework and now I will give you the second part of how you can make a dog sweater. So let's start. So now that we finished to paint off, well, if we come back to the picture, we could see that we have the bottom, then this bottom goes around the paw and then it continue to almost a half of the first square. So this is what we are going to make. We are going to take both pieces and we are going to join this part that goes here, from here to here. Then we will leave this space open for the paw and then we will join until the half of the first square. Okay, so we are going to sew. Here you can cut a long thread and use it to sew, but guess what? I don't have my embroidery needle with a big eye, so I'm going to use a small embroidery needle and a thread to join. So I will show you. So that's why I'm going to cut. But if you have an embroidery needle, don't cut and use it uh, to join. I will use this bind side to the back and I will use this side later to cast on again the stitches to make the neck. So please take that into account. It is important that before you sew, you uh, try on in your dog. In this case, I don't have a dog with me right now, so I'm taking only the picture as a reference. So with the picture, I'm having a little bit of idea of where I have to sew and how many space uh, do I have to leave? But if you have your dog with you, please before you join, see if you where you are going to join it's correct according where the paw are. But well, um, for now I'm going to sew from here to here, and then I will leave this space open for the next paw. Well, so here I am. And this is where I'm going to stop and then I will leave this space for the next paw but I don't want to cut my thread so I'm going to slip through these stitches to the other side so from here I can sew the next part the part that will go up to the neck or to the chest of her dog so I'm going to continue making the same, but I think that I'm going to come back because I'm not leaving enough space. So I'm going to fix it, okay? Let me, give me five seconds. Well, yes, I fix it. It looks so much better, right? So what I made here, I'm going to make it in the other side too, leaving also the same space and using the needle and the thread and also we are going to sew until here. If you have circular needles with you it will be easier if you sew but like I don't have circular needles I'm going to use just normal needles I won't sew it. I will first take I will cast on the stitches again and later I will sew and I will repeat what I made here. What we are going to make now is the neck so we can see that part of the neck goes from here to here so we are going to uh, cast on the stitches we are going to use the same color i'm going to use a plain color and i will use the hook it will be easier to take the stitches like this so let me show you also in the in this space if you feel that you need to reduce a little bit and if you have already try on to your dog and you see that this hole is so big well this is the perfect step to reduce a little bit in this case I can notice that it reduced a little bit this part so I'm going to uh, make three stitches and I will skip one then take three more stitches and then skip one well like I don't want to have all these stitches here on the hook I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to place it, I mean place them there and then I will continue with the next stitches like this, look, I'm going to take one stitch 
with the hook and then I will pass it through the needle and I'm going to make this with all the stitches remember I'm going to make three I'm going to take three stitches and skip one well here I have all the stitches that goes with the squares now I'm going to take the stitches that go under the sweater okay and we will repeat the same in this part I will use the hook and here I won't reduce I will respect all the stitches so the elastic can keep with the shape okay so I'm going to repeat and see you when I finish to take all the stitches well I finished to uh, cast on all the stitches and I count them and I have 38 stitches I'm going to pull them like this a little bit to have them loose because it will be easier to make the first row so this is a tip that I gave you and I made the same with these uh, stitches this one so now what we are going to make is that we will try to copy the same stitch that the picture has okay remember that we are taking this sweater as an inspiration I think that the stitch is rice stitch so we are going to make the rice stitch and we will start like this and I think that when we arrive here we are going to reduce some stitches well on the rice stitch goes we are going to knit one and pour the next one knit one and pour the next one and like this the whole row well at the end of the row we will have something like this now turn around and now for the second row we are going to alternate where we need we are going to pour and where we pour we are going to need so remember well the first stitch we will pass it through now here you can see that we pour because we have this thread in front so this means now that we are going to knit, then we are going to pour. So remember, we are going to make the opposite of what we made in the last row. And this is the rice stitch. You will see how many rows you need according to the size of your dog. Remember, I'm making this sweater for a small dog. Well, I continue with the same stitches and everything, and I made five rows. Remember, each row is different than the last one. You see, it's very similar to the stitch of the picture. And now after these five rows, I'm going to reduce, and this is what we are going to make. Please, before you decide to reduce, try on with your dog and see if you need to make more or less rows. So we are going to pass the first stitch, and we are going to continue with this stitch. Here we have three four stitches and after the fourth we are going to reduce like this okay and according as it goes so here we need so it this means that we have to pour here so we are going to pour taking two stitches together now like we pour in, with the last two stitches we are going to knit so here we have one two three and now in the fourth we are going to reduce again and like this is how we are going to reduce the whole row after three stitches don't worry if you feel that with this row you lost a little bit the stitch okay don't worry we are going to continue making more rows like this now respecting the stitch as it goes we won't reduce anymore I'm going to make five rows more like this with this number all the stitches I won't reduce remember and then I will stop there and then I will bend off well I finished to make the five rows I'm making this for a small dog remember so I made six centimeters you will need probably more or less row according to the size of your dog please take that into account it's very important I'm going to bind off these stitches loose, okay? It's important to keep with the shape of the neck and the neck can perfectly fit in our dog's body, in our dog's neck. 
Okay, so like this is how I'm going to continue. If you can, we'll use a different number to paint off. At the end, we are going to cut, and now I'm going to sew the same way I saw the other side, remember, using the thread and the needle. I will leave this space free, this side, so later it will be easier to put the sweater on my dock, okay? So later I will put a brush or a bottom here, and then what I'm just going to sew it's from here to the first paw the space, then I will leave that space free for the paw, then I will continue with the rest of the body, okay? And take this space as a reference so you can leave the same space here and later here we are going to put a bottom or something. Well, if we see the picture, we have this, the body, this part from here to here, we leave the space for the paw, then for the first paw, then we have the bottom of the sweater using the elastic stitch, and then we have the rest with the neck. Remember, I leave this space open because it will be easier to put the sweater on our dock, okay? Later we will put a um, bottom and what we are going to make now is that we are going to make a stitch to have a better finish in this part using our hook. I'm going to make a simple stitch. I'm going to make the single crochet and I think it's enough. So I will go all around from here to the other side. And I'm going to start in this side first. While I make this, I'm going to hide these threads like this, okay? So we are going to make a single crochet and see you at the end of this row. Well, at the end of the row, you see now it looks completely different and it has a better finish, right? So from here, we are going to make three or five chains we are going to make an eye like this in the same space we are going to slip one and now we can cut and then in the other side we can place a bottom or we can put a brush or I was thinking that maybe it's a little bit dangerous to put a bottom because later they can eat this bottom um, maybe you can crochet something or maybe make a ribbon or so, so you can join. If you have a better idea, please let me know. Well, look at the end, I made this to have something quick, just to take the pictures and that's it. And I think it's less dangerous than to put a bottom or, or what else we can put here. Please let me know, right now I'm like, I, I can't <laughs> think anymore. But well, at the end, we are just going to iron this part. If you want to have a better finish, the squares, we will leave the rest without ironing. And I will take the pictures. Well, guess what? The owner of the dog have just sent me the measurements. So I have to make one strip more of squares instead of three. I finished making four strips of squares of three and then I will have to uh, increase also in this part but one square will be in too much so I'm just going to make some rows with single crochet to have a um, more long of the sweater so this is what I'm going to make just a single crochet rows and then I will sew again I will better make half double crochet. So I'm going to make like three rows with this stitch so the body length can increase a little bit so this sweater can be perfect for the dog I'm making this sweater for. It's a bottle. Well, I finished, I made three rows. And here, just to finish, I'm going to make grab a stitch. 
Well, at the end of this row, now I'm going to repeat again. I'm going to sew and I'm going to leave the same space for the legs too and everything. So I'm going to sew this part like this and then I will continue with the neck and everything again. Now everything is perfect. I finished. I finished to make these rows, the crab stitch row in this side. Then I continue with the neck. And uh, remember, if I add an extra square, it will be too much. I only ironed the part of the squares. I made that first and then I sew. And this is the space for the uh, paws and for the head. I repeat exactly what I made before and now we are ready to take the pictures and show you the final result. Let's see how it looks. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this sweater with me. Remember, this is the second part. If you missed the first part, here in the description box below, I will share the first part so you can make this sweater. I hope that you make a sweater for you too and you can match with your dog. It will be very nice if you do. Please, if you do, take a picture and tag me. I would love to see all of your dogs wearing this beautiful sweater and this beautiful idea. Thank you so much again and see you in the coming videos. Bye. Say bye, Bodas. Bye. Thank you.